as chat gpt is gaining popularity one question that may be coming to your mind is how can you use chat gpt in your application right so by application i mean it can be a web application or a mobile application so as as part of this tutorial video i want to show you how you can build an application which uses chat gpt internally and what we are going to build is something like this this is a random restaurant recommender system that is very easy to build so i'll just enter a city here and i'll show you that it will recommend me a random restaurant okay so if you see here it gives me an output and this is internally using chat gpt api so how to build this right i'll make it very simple for you i'll be sharing all the links so don't worry you can find it in the description so to get started you can go to open api right i'll be sharing this link like i mentioned and we'll use node.js to build this application if you don't know node.js it's okay don't worry we are hardly going to use any of the node.js stuff except install things right so what you need to do is if if you follow the instructions and i'll show you how you just need to clone this repository so once you have this link once you are on this page just follow along what we are going to do is okay here i am creating this uh, application within the sample folder so what i'll do is i'll open my terminal okay and i'll say cd and i'll go to this directory and here i'll just paste that command so it'll paste the sample application for me open ai quick start node uh, similarly it's uh, you can you can do this for other tech stack as well but here i'm focusing on node.js because um, it's it's very simple actually to get started uh, what i'll do is i'll open visual studio and i'll open the the code we just created so i'll quickly go to sample and open ai quick start node and open this so out of the box this application will work for you what do you need to do is um, go to terminal open the terminal right so if you are familiar with node stuff um, how do you install the packages and dependencies using npm install correct so this will install all the dependencies that are needed not many actually if you see the package json file there are only a few dependencies this application uses nextjs it also uses open ai react and react dom simple right so we'll install this and for this tutorial you don't need to know uh, details about these things although you can explore uh, so one, while the packages are being installed uh, the readme is also pretty helpful it gives you a quick um, step by step guide so like you can see you install the install the components then we need to make a copy of this env example so we can do this uh, once the packages are installed we are we'll create a .env file and i'll show you what's the purpose of this file so i think the dependencies are installed now so what i'll do is let me just shrink it so that you can see um we can just copy that command it will create a dot env file for us if you see it has open api api key right so you need an api key to interact with the chat gpt api okay uh, the way you get this api is if you go to the same link which i was showing you a short while back and you log in you log in here you will see it will create it will generate an api for you and show you here okay you see here to get the app working you will need an api key let me log in to show you how it works i'm using google account um, and you you can also do the same thing once you are logged in and if you come down you will see it has generated an api key right so you can use this api key and paste it uh, in the code that you have i i already have this um, 
available so let me just show you so i have a key uh, this won't work for you so you can generate a new key for yourself and and then once you have this available you can out of the box run this application and you will get a a page right uh, a simple app uh, installed but uh, the idea is to make some changes so what we'll do is let me close all these files and there are two things two key files we want to use here one is index.js which is our um, our front uh, front facing page okay so we can make some changes here um, like i want to get rid of this icon title we can make something like my um say rest torrent recommender okay uh, then what additional we want to do is like uh, this is like the form right so let me change so by default okay before i start let me show you how it is out of the box so i'll just do npm run dev once you do this you will have it running on local host go to your local host and you will see an app which is running Yeah. Yep. So I think this comes up. So by default, you will see this page, right? This is the basic application. You can enter a pet name and it will generate some cool names for you, like movie names and stuff uh, with this pet name, right? So we are going to make some minor changes to make it um, suitable for us, like for our use case. And it's very easy to do. So instead of enter an animal, we can say enter a city, for example, right? And I'm not going to uh, do a lot of changes except get rid of this and say restaurant recommender, okay? Simple. Um, and enter a city like I mentioned and then this this basically calls a file called generate.js and if you notice I don't know if you, uh, if, if you are familiar with next.js then in next.js you can write both client side and server side code and this generate.js is part of API which means you can make API calls securely this this is executed on the server side okay so you will need a place where you can host this application and i'll show you how you can do that like i have done um, but if you go to this file generate js this is where the magic happens right um, let me close this so that you get a better view of things and let me maximize this so if you see we have this function which is the default function which gets executed and here it first checks whether you have an API key available or not. If you don't have an API key, it will prompt you to get an API key and enter it in your env file. Once you have that, then from the body, it extracts this parameter. So I'm not going to change this because it doesn't matter much. Um, but what we want to do is, if you see this part, um, this completion logic right so this calls the open api dot create completion uh, which is the create completion method and if you go here this is the api sdk basically which is getting invoked this is like the interface the contract and if you want to know how things are working just go down you'll see this generate prompt function this is this is this prompt function actually uh, sends the instructions to chat GPT. So if you see here, we are first of all we are getting the uh, input. So in our case, we can simply use the the input that is coming. Let's say animal. I'll change it to say city, right? Because we are working with city. So just to make things simple. And here is the instruction. So instruction I'm going to change. I'm just going to say 
suggest a restaurant 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 in the following city this is my instruction and instead of all this logic i don't need this i'll just get rid of this i'll say um, city and let's say city here and then restaurant okay. so this will return sorry about that so this will return me the restaurant name okay for the city but this is the instruction that we are passing and i think you can relate it to the way we use chat gpt right you just give it an instruction and gives you the response so with this done if we now run this using npm run dev and if we go back so you see the changes are reflecting right uh, and that, that's that's an advantage of using uh, next js so we have restaurant recommender now and i enter a city like say delhi here which is the place i am staying in and then you click on this and you get a restaurant name kareem's so this is a very simple demo actually of how you can use chat gpt to power your application right especially this completion logic and i'm pretty sure you must be getting ideas like how you can create simple apps cool stuff and stuff like that so this is how you can build a very simple application now i was talking about hosting this so since this is a next js application if you want to host it and show it to your friends like i have done i have just hosted and um, it's available for anyone to use so you can go to versel.com okay versel.com allows you to host your next year's applications for free right that's the cool one if you see i have quite a few applications what you can do is just add new um, you can link to your git repository i have my own repository where i have this application i'll share the code with you guys as well you can just click on import and you are done it will be hosted so i mean this is cool right <laughs> you you can get a get an app powered by chat gpt running in no time you can have your own cool stuff here like you want to recommend a song a movie an actor whatever you want to play around so hope this was helpful in my next videos i'll cover other use cases which can be helpful um, and uh, you know i'll be sharing all these links so all the best do leave a comment if you're if you create something cool and want to share with others